What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video and today we've got something that's very special to me. This place right here is an abandoned Royal Naval's arms department. This place is huge. It's three miles. It's basically one huge square of land. And on this bit of land is over 100 buildings. This is my biggest exploration to date. So you already know, I got the drone. I got plenty of batteries because I think I'm gonna need it. I've lived very, very close to this piece of land for the past 18 years and I've never, ever found a way on. But I got a bit of a tip off the other day of a place where you can get into the site and it's just a wide open entrance. So today we're in. Let's go check out this huge piece of land. Enjoy the video. This place is huge. I mean, I've walked for about 10 minutes from the part that I entered from, and uh, I've only passed like four buildings. And as I said, there's around 100. Now, I won't be going into every single building because I know a lot of them are just pretty much empty shells, but there is an abandoned factory as well. It's just up there, so we're gonna go check that out. So I've just found these sort of railway type of tracks. So they must have been using these to like transport weapons and ammunition and that sort of thing. As you can see, we're in one of the bathrooms now, so obviously this is uh, quite fire damaged. Lots of charred wood and lots of wood and ceiling and fell on the floor. Nothing too interesting, but I thought I'd show you anyway. I've actually been walking now for around an hour or so. I've just been taking it slow, checking out all the buildings that are dotted around on my way up. But we're actually very, very close to the factory now, which is the main part, so I'm looking forward to that. That tower there, that's part of the factory, so that's where we're heading to. That's the main part, and then we'll see what else we can find, I guess. It's actually very nice views out here as well. I mean, it's just nice for a walk, you know? It's really quiet and peaceful, and there's just really nice views. So while I'm here, taking a little break, I thought I would tell you a bit of history about the place. By the way, I've made it to the factory, it's right next to me. Uh, I'm just taking a chill out for a second before we actually go and explore that part. So in 1873, on this land right here, the Book Hill Colliery opened on this site. A railway was developed and coal was extracted from the land. This was in operation for just under 60 years until it closed in 1932. The land remained unused for around six years and then in 1938, the Royal Naval Armaments Depot opened. The site was running for around five or six years and then in 1944, a large explosion happened in which 11 people were killed and 70 people were injured. Between 1977 and 1981, the US forces used the site to store their own ammunition. The site then closed in 1992 and since then it's just been left standing here letting nature take over. Over. In 2008, the site was bought by the local council for just one pound. And in 2011, two companies were shortlisted to be the developers of the site. And since then, locals like myself have heard about the place that they're apparently going to turn into a theme park or a holiday park and skate park and all this sort of thing. But even to this day in October 2016, the site's just standing here and nothing's really happening with it. So let's just see what happens with the site. I hope you enjoyed that short little bit of history. Uh, we're going to crack on now and explore the factory. So we're actually entering the factory area now. Um, as you can see there's like a small tower here. But yeah we're just gonna have a walk in and uh, see what sort of things we can find. I'm guessing there isn't much because this site has been left for around 25 years now. But who knows we might be pleasantly surprised. So I found what looks to be, I don't know, like an office or storeroom type of thing. It doesn't look like a lot of the other buildings that I've seen today, which mainly look like storage for farmers. Uh, I do know that farmers keep their cows and stuff like that on here, but uh, this building looks just like an office. We'll head around through that door and take a little look. Yeah, so it doesn't really look like too much of interest, but I think I was right when I said it was like an office or something. It looks like there's one office here, one office here, and then that one office that I showed you just then. 
So I came into one of the larger buildings now, but there isn't really anything in here. It's pretty bare. All the lights are still up in here though. Obviously smashed from teenagers or whatever. Come through into here, there's not too much. Some clothes pegs. There's a sign on the wall here which says, wash basins to be cleaned and emptied after washing hands. So this was likely just a washroom or a toilet, maybe. There's three large pipes which actually all lead through into the wall behind each one and go straight into that chimney that I showed you. It'd be interesting to know what exactly they were burning in here or making or whatever. There's no, not really any signs on the wall to show what they were doing or any hints at what they were doing in this room. So, this is the massive tower and I've just came around the back of it and bang! You can actually get into it. So I've turned the ISO and everything right up, so it's going to be a horrible picture quality. But I wanted to show you exactly what was in this tower. So it starts at the bottom here, there's nothing much, there's just a lot of rubble. There's a huge echo, as you can probably hear. And then we go up. Unfortunately, there's no way up to the top of the tower, but at least you get to see inside it. You can tell this was a very, very active factory. There's a whole lot of pipes that run through this whole factory area. By the way, for anyone wondering how I'm navigating the site, I've actually got it up on my maps, which will show me exactly where I am and I can follow the paths around the site. So I found this, which is actually an old mask. This is sort of like a respirator type of mask, which is what you would use to avoid asbestos and little dust particles in the air. I usually use these kind of masks when I go into enclosed abandoned buildings, but these buildings are pretty good because there's lots of ventilation. So I'm currently in this very, very cool corridor, which is actually at the back of the factory. This is the last building to explore of the factory, but this corridor is cool for photographs, so let's get a couple. So unfortunately, this is all that's left of this last building. There's a few signs on the wall that are like this one over here, which says fire point. But that's pretty much all that's left remaining of this whole site. Signs and little pieces of metal that just aren't really interesting. I can't really complain though it has been abandoned for 25 years, but it still would have been nice to find something. I always like these little kind of tunnel things. I've seen a lot of them at the Eddingham Munitions Factory up in Scotland, as you can see in that video. Um, but yeah, I do like these little tunnel things. They, they just always look cool when they're in the side of this hill sort of thing. I don't know, I just think they look pretty cool. I'm going to show you now because this is exactly what a lot of the buildings on this whole area look like. A lot of them, as you can see, are just mud on the floor, mud and rocks, and just empty, empty buildings. So yeah, that's the reason why I won't be showing all 100 plus buildings on this video. So as expected, all of these buildings are pretty much the same as that one I showed you just before. Keep hearing noises as well, and when you're out here in the middle of nowhere on your own, it can be a little bit freaky. But yeah, nothing really interesting in these buildings. They're all pretty much one big building, uh, just knocked through, and uh, it's just it's just mud on the floor, and again, the ceiling's pretty much coming down. But next up, we're going to head up there, which is where that hill was that I showed you. Um, so yeah, we'll see what sort of cool shots and photos we can get from up there. Alright, let's go. Have to come back for the camera. I've never actually seen this one before, this building. It was sort of hidden between the grass mounds. But it looks like a lot of glass is in here. As you can see, it's a bit of a shack, this one. Up there it says, installation number Northwest 842. Safe working load 20 CWT, not certain what that is. I do like seeing the old signs, it just sort of gives you an inkling as to how dangerous each building was. Apparently there's still a lot of explosives on this site, which is why this whole area is off limits to the general public. So, I've actually only covered around half of the site, but as we're finding out, a lot of the buildings are exactly the same. Over the other side of that forest is pretty much exactly the same as what we've already covered. So while I'm taking a break now, I'm going to set up the drone and fly it over the tree to take a look at the buildings over there. If there is anything of interest, then I will head round, but if it's exactly the same as what I've covered here, I don't think I'm going to bother. I have heard from people in the past that there's nothing left, but as I've lived next to the site for pretty much 18 years of my life, and never been able to get in but always wanted to, I found out about this entrance point and I just had to get in. And there she goes off over the forest.
And that's today's lesson on how to catch a drone. So I never actually told you what happened there, but basically as soon as I landed the drone, a Land Rover like came around the corner with two guys in it. And they like slammed on the brakes and stared at me and started to turn around. So I grabbed all of my equipment and ran. Now I'm pretty much in the middle of nowhere, just sort of hiding and waiting to see where they go. But as for the drone flying over the forest, there was literally nothing over the other side. There was a few buildings, but they were just barns used by farmers. As for the hill, that's the hill there. Not really anything up there, but I'm gonna fly the drone up anyway, and then we're gonna get out of here. I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. It's been a nice little walk out. There wasn't anything too exciting to see, but um, after living next to it for 18 years and never being able to get in, I'm just happy that I finally ticked something off the bucket list. So uh, yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit that like button. And uh, if you're new around here, subscribe. I do make two videos every single week, so you don't wanna miss them. So I'm about to head out of this place now. I've got a lift coming to pick me up. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video on Friday. Stay safe, have a very good day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.